Hey guys, Mark here. In this video, I wanted to explain what pineapple knot types actually mean. So what is a type 1 pineapple knot, a type 2 pineapple knot, a type 3 pineapple knot and so on. You can see this categorization often when people post various pineapple knots, but it is a bit of an advanced categorization which explains how pineapple knots are tied or interwoven. So with this said, let's see a few pineapple knots and why they are classified as a specific type of a pineapple knot. First up is the type 1 pineapple knot, which is certainly the most commonly used one. The knot is tied by first tying one Turk's head, which basically envelops the other. The first Turk's head will have its bites on the outer side of the knot on both sides, and then the second Turk's head will have its bites nested inside the first Turk's head. Basically this means that the outer two bites are on the bite boundaries 1 on the left and right side and the second knot has its bite boundaries inside or on the second bite boundary on both sides. This is how we accurately explain the type 1 pineapple knot. So what would a type 2 pineapple knot be then? Well, a type 2 pineapple knot will have its first turk's head, in this case the green one, on the left hand side on the bite boundary 1, but on the right hand side the bites of the primary knot will be nested inside the second knot. The second knot then will have its left hand bites on the bite boundary 2 on the left side, just like in a type 1 pineapple knot, but on the right hand side, the bites of the second knot will go over the bites of the first knot and basically nest the bites of the first knot inside. So basically it would be like stacking one Turk's head on top of the other. I highly recommend that you pause this video and see the differences between the type 1 and type 2 pineapple knot. Once you have done that, let's take a look at the type 3 pineapple knot. The basic type 3 pineapple knot is tied out of a type 2 pineapple knot with another cord used. Now, if we take a look at the first knot, it would start on the left hand side on bite boundary 1 and then it would nest on the right hand side on bite boundary 3. The second knot would then nest on the left hand side on the bite boundary 2 and on the right hand side it would nest on the bite boundary 2. The third knot would nest on the left hand side on the bite boundary 3 and on the right hand side it would sit on the bite boundary 1. As you can see a type 3 pineapple knot stacks 3 knots one on top of the other so we've now covered the few basic knot types and as a bonus let's take a look at another variation of a pineapple knot. This is a type 1 pineapple knot tied with 3 cords. So it is a 3 pass type 1 pineapple knot. This knot would be tied by first tying the primary knot on the left hand. This would be done on the bite boundary 1 and because this is a type 1 pineapple knot it will end up on the right hand side on bite boundary 1 as well. The second interwoven knot will start on the left hand side on the bite boundary 2 and on the right hand side it will nest on the bite boundary 3. This is because the third cord will nest on the left hand side on the bite boundary 3 but on the right hand side it will come between the previous two knots so between the second and the first knot. So guys I hope I did not complicate things too much but I'm sure I did. This is a classification that is very important but it takes a bit of getting used to. So in my opinion just rewatch this video a bunch of times until it clicks for you. I have also posted an article in the description which you can use to get further information on this. So with this said, thank you for joining me and see you next time.